Hi guys, this is Crystal Lee Moore Lucier, also known as your home sweet home 519 realtor, Crystal Lee Moore. And today I wanted to talk to you about the first steps in the buying process. So the market has been pretty crazy this year. It's 2022 and ever since the COVID-19 pandemic hit, it has been a whirlwind of a real estate market in Southern Ontario. Even still, the same principles that you need to buy in any market still apply today, and I'd like to go through them a little bit and just shed some light. So firstly, the first steps in buying. The first thing you have to do before anything else is decide. Decide that you want to be a homeowner. And as our friend Tony Robbins has said in some of the conferences and trainings I've listened to, decide means to cut off from. So there's no other option available to you in life, you want this, you want to be a homeowner. And sometimes it can seem almost impossible, especially if you know a lot of people that are not homeowners or don't think it's possible. But take a look at all the people that do own homes. It is possible and we're going to help you get there. So you want to start saving for your down payment. What is your down payment? Down payment is at least 5% of the purchase price. And the reason that you need this is that when the banks or the lenders give you money, lend you money, they want to make sure that you're going to pay it back. So you need sort of skin in the game. You need to have a piece of that, of that house that you actually have paid for. And there's tons of complicated reasons for that. But really, if you boil it down, they want to make sure that you have a vested interest in paying that mortgage and you wouldn't just walk away. If you've seen the movie The Big Short, one of the problems with people being able to purchase homes with no down payment is that they didn't have that skin in the game. And when things kind of got rocky, they did walk away and it was a disaster. So about 5% is what you need as the minimum. Uh, the more the better um, because the more of a down payment you have, sometimes you can get a lower interest rate, but we're getting ahead of ourselves having that low interest rate, um, or sorry, <laughs> having that down payment saved up. And you can come up with, there's a lot of different plans and savings plans. Number one, you can borrow as a first time home buyer from your RRSP, so your registered retirement savings plan. So you can start putting money into that, which helps you with taxes. Um, but you can borrow from yourself as a first time home buyer. So you're able to use some of that for your, um, your down payment. You do have to pay it back, but it's a really helpful way to save that. Um, especially if your employer has kind of an RRSP matching program, sometimes they do. And the other thing you can do is automatic savings. So one of the hardest things to do is save your money because there always seems to be something you need it for. But if you have an automatic savings, um, I actually went to a Scotiabank, we're richer than you think, uh, seminar like years and years ago. And that's where they talked about having that automatic savings plan. So if you take $50 or $100 per paycheck and just kind of have it automatically put into an account that you can't see, it will start adding up really quickly. And you actually won't notice it's gone, which is pretty crazy. The next thing you want to do is assemble your team. So you want to get a great realtor, happy to help, um, especially if it's in London or St. Thomas. And you also need to get a great lender. So most of your realtor um, contacts can find you or get you in touch with a wonderful lender, um, whether that's a mobile mortgage specialist with one of the major banks or a private mortgage uh, broker. Either way, you want someone who's going to be able to take care of you. And they can also connect you with a real estate lawyer and a home inspector, because even if you're in a market where home inspections aren't possible, it's really good to have one in your contacts. So that's it for now. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. If you have any questions about the first steps or anything to do with real estate, I'm always happy to help. I'm Crystal Lee Moore, your home sweet home 519 Realtor. Have a great day.